What would you say is the most interesting thing you've learned this week so far? I'd say it was probably Tim Schrader's talk yesterday concerning the uh, quantitation and, and single cell quantitation of cell fate conversion by imaging. Apparently that it's now possible to grow uh, IPS derived liver butts. I just learned that a couple of minutes ago and uh, that seemed to be very interesting. Well I just went to um, a talk. It was quite very interesting because um, they were making chimeras from mice and human together and seeing if the human could like, integrate into a blastocyst. Oh, I really liked uh, Douglas Melton, Melton talk. Uh, I think uh, it's very promising what they show basically in generated uh, functional uh, pancreatic beta cells uh, for treat uh, the type 1 diabetes. What's maybe the most exciting new technology that you've learned about this week? Well, I saw uh, a real-time uh, characterization uh, uh, product and uh, you can uh, characterize very easily. There are a com bunch of companies who are advertising products to look at cultures at a single cell level and I think anyone who works in stem cell biology knows how heterogeneous these cultures are so this I think is a really powerful new way of analyzing that complexity. It's an attractive autologous uh, stem cell source for the um, regeneration as well as tissue repair. All these new revolutionary analysis on, on genome stability that you can do a single cell, like it's really amazing. Lots of them, um, which include, you know, laser capture, micro dissection, um, a lot of the f new fact sorting instruments, um, I would love to have a brand new one of those. There are a number of posters and talk that use um, uh, Talon uh, nucleases or CRISPR mediated uh, gene editing. This is a very, very promising tool. There was a talk today about um, how clinicians help a family, and I think that was quite touching to see uh, how um, what we are doing is getting some results for somebody.